This month, we have been learning about the Lord's Supper by the Glorious Choral. But today, being the end of TOB, we are going to learn about the tabernacle as well as the Lord's Supper brought to you by... Which station was I from? Synagogue school, brought to you by the synagogue school. So to us parents, synagogue school is where our children visited every day to learn about the sanctuary. So before we proceed, can we get a prayer from... Oh, okay, choose one. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this day. As we have been singing, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Now, the book of Psalm, chapter 77, verse 13 says, Thy way, no, let's say it together. Psalm 77, 13 says, Thy way, O Lord, Now, to you, boys and girls, we are lining this sermon together. Let me see. A sanctuary has how many parts? How many? Like how many parts? Like how many parts? Three parts. Three parts. Now, correct. Please, you have a gift? Oh, they are gifts. Good. Now, which are the articles that are found in every part? Altar of sacrifice. In the outer court. Altar of sacrifice in the outer court. Correct. Now, faster, faster. The lava in the outer court. The lava in the outer court. Tick. Now, we are moving into the holy place. Now, the, 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 the articles found in the holy place. The altar of incense in the holy place. Correct, but Teacher John, that's your class. Please come to primary A also. Come this side. Correct. Another one. The table of shoe bread. Table of shoe bread. Correct. Now the last one. Come this side. The oh, this Christian. Now, it's far better if you tell me what it also represents, but just give me the answer. The Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments is in the sanctuary, but note... Yes, not at the holy place. The lampstand. The lampstand, correct. And the last is the most holy place. The last is the most holy. Can we try parents? We try parents. Now, which articles were found in the most holy place? A parent? I know all the parents. I will choose one. A parent in the most holy place? Many parents. Let's proceed, let's proceed. Let's proceed, let's proceed. Tabernacle. Tick. Hey, let's finish, let's finish this. Let's finish. The covenant. Good, that's correct. Now, the last one, so that we proceed. The Ark of the Covenant. Correct. Now, I... I am certain we people, we have done a good recap. Now, let me tell you, boys and girls. Oh, oh, there's a good picture. Can you look at the screen? A very good picture. Now, when God created us, man was perfect, there was no sin, but then man fell into sin because he was deceived by... Who deceived man? Oh, the mic went away. Satan deceived man and we became sinners. However, God had a wonderful plan. This plan, we called it the plan of what? A very wonderful plan. A very wonderful plan of salvation. A very good plan. A plan of salvation that would come through Jesus Christ. Now, God chose a special people called the children of Israel. And he told them, let me make me... Who can complete the statement?
Let them make me a sanctuary. That, that I may dwell, dwell among them. So God wanted to live with us. And so they made a sanctuary. And the role, there was a role of a high priest and another priest. So the people of Israel will offer sacrifices. But they, why were they offering sacrifices? Why? Why? Joji, eh, Joji. Why? Why? Yes, speak. Because if they won't confess their sins, God will come for them. Because they were sinners, yes. They were sinners, so they would offer sacrifices for forgiveness of sin. However, that one is not there today. Because God sent his son. The book of John chapter 1, 29 says, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away who takes away so the Israelites today we don't have to come with the lambs anymore to offer for our sins to be forgiven because Jesus came to take place of the Lamb. Now the night just before Jesus' crucifixion he did something. Uh, Jesus did something just the night before his crucifixion. And someone help me, what did Jesus do? Just. Oh, what did Jesus do with his disciples just the night before he died? The night before his crucifixion. About Jesus. Oh, about Jesus? How is? He took a cup of wine and uh -huh. it was his blood. Uh -huh. And he took a a piece of bread and said it was his body and he washed his disciples' feet. Thank you so much. Shine for Jesus every day. And today we do it here at church. And how do we call it? Oh, you participate but you don't know the name. Children, how do we call it? Holy Thank you so much. So we participate today in the Holy Communion. And Jesus says, he takes a cup and he says, this one is my blood. It is the new covenant in my blood. So do, the, do this always as you remember me. Can I tell you something, boys and girls? There was a curtain in the sanctuary that separated the most holy place and the holy place. That one, it existed because, you know, when we became sinners, so sin separated us from God. So that is why the curtain existed in the sanctuary. However... When Jesus came, this night of his crucifixion, after doing all this that we have explained, he went to pray, and he cried out loudly, and he said it was all finished. And that curtain, it was thick. Can you do your hand like this? It was thick, the size of a, a man's hand. Am I a man or a boy? Yes, the size of my hand, like this. And it tore into two, from top to, to bottom. Can you do this way? From top, and that meant that boys and girls, you see, the, the children of Israel they could not access the most holy place, but through Jesus, we could now access the most holy place. That is why today we don't have to come to church with a bull or a ram or a pigeon, which other animal? A dove or lamb to offer because Jesus died and his blood was enough to wash away all our sins. Who came with a bull today to church? Ah, not me. Because the blood of Jesus took away all the place of animal sacrifices. Now, as we finish, God wants the following. God wants you to come and dine with him. But now, how do you do that? Number one, you confess your sins and accept Jesus. Now, in the message of the sanctuary, where do we confess our sins? In the part of the sanctuary. Where do we confess our sins? Where? Ah, now, all of us, because of time, all of us? So whenever we see Jesus and his ministry, we remember the entire sanctuary message. So God wants us to come and dine with him by accepting him and and accepting Jesus and confessing our sins. Number two, he wants us to be washed 
through baptism. Now, in the message of the sanctuary, where did we find baptism? Ah, where, where was that? The lava place. The lava. And number three, God wants us to always read the word of God. Where did we find the word of God in the sanctuary? Where was that? Where was that? God wants us to always read the word of God. So where did we find the word of God in the sanctuary? Yes? The table of shoebread. The table of shoebread. And number five. Christ wants us to be the light of this world. All these precious gems that we have gathered throughout this week, when you get out of this church, you share with your friends and you shine. How many promise to share the word of God? Now, who is the light of the world according to the sanctuary message that we learned? I said, who is the light of the world according to the sanctuary Jesus. message? Jesus. Correct. And lastly, he wants us also to live a life of prayer. How did we find the life of prayer in the sanctuary? Altar of incense. Altar of incense. Because it was a smoke rising sweetly ascending to the throne of God. So when we confess our sins and always pray, then our prayers will ascend sweetly to the throne of God and he will answer us. Now, parents, this afternoon, we will take you through many stations, but don't forget to come to... Which station is mine? Where we will learn about the sanctuary. And we will actually give you assignments and you write your name, you leave them there, we will mark and give you next Sabbath. From, for now, from the synagogue school, we say bye. But we have to pray. Please give someone a mic to pray. Let us pray. Our kind and everlasting Father, I come to this hour. As you want to end our devotion, may you be with us, may you protect us. As you want to go to various places, in Jesus' name I pray and believe. Amen.